The bear and the bees. Okay. I'm today I am reading the bear and the bees. I'm not gonna touch it because I have a mouse. Okay, so you see my arrow? It's going to the point. The bear and the bees. A long time ago, a big, a big brown bear crawled out of his cave and into the bright sunlight. He had been asleep all winter. Now it's, it was spring again, uh, and he was very hungry indeed. Well, where's my mouse? Oh yeah, there it is. Yep. The bear plotted along through the forest, eating new green leaves from the bushes. Insects and mice and ground squirrels ran about in the long grass. I, there's no one mowing them. Like there's a little branch and leaf in his mouth. Okay. By now, the bear was feeling more and more hungry. Oh, wait, what? One little ground squirrel puts its head up out of the rocks, but quickly disappears down it into its hole. That one. When it saw the bear. Next page. By now, the bear was feeling more and more hungry, but... Now he was feeling grumpy too. A few leaves and insects were not f enough food for a large brown bear. He had to find something else to eat soon. He made his way down to the river. A fish would make a good meal. He's up on that mountain is that dangerous or not i think it is or he will just fall into the rocks oh it's just a thing but just as the bear caught caught a fish a bee began to buzz around his head that little dot there on top of his nose. The bear shook his head and the fish slipped out of his paw. The bee buzzed round the bear's head again. This time it stung him right on the end of his nose. The bear was hot, angry. He didn't like being stung on the nose, and he didn't like losing his meal. Look. See my mouse? I'm gonna point to the fish. It went off to his paw there, and then off went the fish. The bear was so angry he, he, that he chased the bee. He ran through the long grass and into the forest. The bee disappeared into a, a hollow log. That log. And then, 
so strong that bear he just drew the bear began to attack the log and he struck scratched and clawed at the rotten wood until he pulled it apart he was going to get that bee But lots of bees had made a nest in the hollow log. They were very annoyed when the bear broke their nest. When the bear broke their nest, they flew out of the log and buzzed crossly round and round the bear's head. The bear stood up in his two back legs and hit out at the bees, but, but they just kept on dive, diving and buzzing round his head. He's angry. Angry! Very angry. Oh, he fell into the pond. The bee stung the bear into his law on his long nose. They flew into his ears and mouth, and they even stung him on his tongue. The bear had to get away fast. There was only one thing that he could do to save himself. The bear ran back down to the river and rushed into the water. Some of the bees followed him, but he stayed under the water until they had gone. Those yellow things are the bees. That day, the bear learned a lesson he would never forget. He shouldn't have let one small thing make him angry. Then he wouldn't have been hurt so badly. Is it the end? Yep, it's the end. And then one more book. Press the home. The white thing is my mouse. Press home. Nineteen. Pick that one. Pickles and the very large fly. Pickles and the very large fly. Chapter 1, The Dog Show Mom, said Nina, as she rushed into the door, there's going to be a dog show at the park next week. Can I enter Pickles? she asked. Oh, said Mom looking a little su surprised. Do you think he is old enough to go into a show? Um, I think so. How, how impressive. Oh, please, Mom, said Nina. Pickles is a year old now, and he is doing really great really well at training. Mom smiled. All right, then you can enter him, said she said. All week, Nina and Pickles practiced for the show. Nina walked Pickles around the garden on his lead. She got him to sit stand up and fetch. Sometimes Eddie from next door came over to watch them. That blue thing is Eddie. There. 
the one I'm pointing. He pretended to be one of the judges. On the morning of the show, Eddie helped to get Pickles ready before they went down to the park with Nina's mother. Chapter 2 Too Excited At the park, Nina waited with the other owners and their dogs for the show to begin. She could see Pickles looking at all the other dogs. His tail wagged and he started to pull his lead. Sit, Pickles, sit, said Nina, said quietly. But Pickles was too excited to sit. After a while, the judges called Pickles' name. Come on, it's your turn now, Nina said. And she pulled gently his at his lead. But Pickles didn't want to come. He wanted to play with the dog next to him. Nina tried to pull Pickles away. She had to tug hard at his lead a few times before he moved. Just as Nina and Pickles were walking towards the judges, a very large, large fly buzzed past him. Pickles jumped up and snapped at it. No, Pickles, sit, said Nina, but he snapped the fly again. N Nina could hear some people in the crowd laughing. That's enough, Pickles, sit, she said, and for a second, Pickles sat down. But as Nina was about to pat him, he sprang back up again and raced after the fly. Stop! shouted Nina, but Pickles kept chasing the fly. He pulled the lead out of Nina's hand and jumped into the air. She reached down to pick up his reed lead but pickles saw the fly again he leaped up after it pickles shouted nina as she ran after him but he was too quick for her chapter three better next year suddenly Ed eddie came running out of the crowd. Don't worry, Nina, I'll get Pickles, he called. Eddie sped past her in, and in no time at all, he had ca caught up with Pickles. Eddie grabbed the lead and carefully picked Pickles to a stop. The crowd began to cheer and clap. Nina looked over at the judges. I'm sorry, she said. Mom thought Pickles was too young to enter in a dog show. Yes, nodded one of the judges, but Pickles were learn Pickles were learn quickly and he will be better next year it's close nina smiled at eddie as she walked as he walked towards her with pickles thanks eddie she said i'm really glad you you're a fast runner and that 
you decided to come with us today. The end. I hope you enjoy two stories. Bye everyone. Just press home and